Hey awesome people. Can you imagine being fined for taking a selfie or for climbing a tree? Don't believe me? Prepare to be astonished by these 10 fascinating laws from around the world that will surely make you say, "What?" And oh, don't forget to give us a like. At number 10 is no tiger selfies in New York. All you selfie fans will have to keep yourselves in control when viewing tigers in New York. Those who attempt to take a tiger selfie face a $500 fine. What? That's like 36,000 rupees. Posing next to a king of the jungle does not make you one fellas. Maybe locations with great scenery would be a better choice for selfies. Talking about selfies, let's move on to number 9. No selfies in front of Buddha statue. Sri Lanka has hundreds of sites with Buddhist temples or Buddhism related architecture, most of which has historical value. But please take care when taking pictures of Buddha statues. When taking a selfie with Buddha, you're turning your back on him. This sign of disrespect is punishable by imprisonment in Sri Lanka. Moving on to number 8. Beware of muddy driving. One of the biggest fears of every pedestrian during rainfall is being drenched with muddy water by a passing car. If you have ever been on the receiving end of the scenario, the thought might have crossed your mind that it has to be illegal to do this. Well, in Japan it is. According to Japanese law, if you splash someone with mud while driving through a puddle, you're liable for a 6000 yen fine not only will you pay a fine but you may need to cover the pedestrian's laundry bill too let's move on from muddy driving to muddy cars at number 7 if you're ever driving in russia and forget to keep your car clean chances are that you will be stopped by the police and fined are you wondering what exactly qualifies a car as dirty Well, we were wondering too. On digging deeper, we found out that if you drive a car where the number plate is dirty and the registration number is not visible, or a car that is so dirty that you can't determine the color of it, you can actually get an on-the-spot fine of 500 rubles. That's like 500 rupees. Cleanliness is surely next to godliness in Moscow. The next in the list is the fish bowl rule at number six. Italy is a land of many laws, but one of the most historic ones were drafted for animal rights. Most of us have seen goldfish scooped into little plastic bags and sold at pet stores. In Rome, however, goldfish are not allowed to be kept in the typical spherical bowls and must have a full-sized aquarium. Rome's strict laws against animal cruelty include walking the pet dogs at least once a day, or you might face a $625 fine. After all, pets are not objects, don't you agree? Topping the list of countries with the strictest animal welfare laws is Switzerland. So at number 5, we have laws for pet owners in Switzerland. Did you know that Swiss pet owners are required to attend classes to learn to take care of their pets? Stopping a dog from barking is also considered illegal here. Each dog owner has to pay a dog tax. The tax is determined according to the size and weight of the dog. Who said the best things in life are free? Talking about pets, don't you think a park would be a great place for you and your pet to enjoy? And what happens if you fancy picking some apples from a tree on the way? So at number 4, we have a fascinating law for you from Canada. Are you a tree climbing enthusiast? In that case, expect to pay a hefty fine if you get caught climbing a tree anywhere in Toronto or Oshawa. Sadly, no tree houses for you people. At number 3 is another Canadian law for Canadian radio stations. We all agree that radio plays an important role in introducing listeners to new music and artists. 
Did you know that Canadian radio stations are required by law to play Canadian artists at least 35% of the time, especially between 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening? This means that in an hour of radio, you will hear 20 minutes of artists like Celine Dion, Justin Bieber. Hmm. Canadians surely are a patriotic bunch. Another interesting law is the Hawaii Billboard Law, which is at number 2. Think of Hawaii and you're instantly dreaming of golden sand, palm trees, surfing or towering mountains. But did you know that the first state to ban billboard advertising was Hawaii back in the 1920s? Only directional or landmark signs are allowed. The main reason to pass this law was to preserve the scenic views of the place. Hmm, not complaining about this view. Our final bizarre law on today's list comes from another island country, Cyprus. Yes, that's number one. In Cyprus, eating or drinking while driving is illegal. Yeah, 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 that includes water. So just in case you decide to stop by a McDonald's and grab a burger to eat on your way back home, hmm, careful guys, keep those hands on the steering wheel. So at the Off Factory, we encourage responsible travel and suggest you to be aware of local laws and customs before planning your next holiday. Keep watching the Off Factory for more. It's nothing but off.